Beer, you're back at the Fantasy Bar. Week five is here. We've got six guys fresh off the tap for you for Fandle and DraftKings, including a quarterback tight end pairing I'm looking at here this week. A wide receiver I think is too cheap, getting a ton of targets. A high-end wide receiver I think is going to explode this weekend. A couple of running backs and some smash spots. And, of course, my favorite play of the week. Who are we talking about? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Week 5 edition Beers Daily Fantasy. Six pack. Good to be back once again here in the Fantasy Bar. Six guys ready to rock for you on FanDuel and DraftKings. Thank you, as always, for stopping by and checking out the video. Before we get into the plays, let's get to the housekeeping. Take a second, click that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate that. That is the tip jar here on this free video. Thank you so much in advance for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Got this video going on. Got my pints and picks video with two of my favorite NFL bets each and every week as well. So make sure you subscribe. Don't miss any of the content here. Also, head over to scoresandodds.com slash beer. Tons of great sports betting information to look at props, money lines, totals, compare odds across all the different sports books, premium picks as well with analysis, backing it up. Tons of those in there as well. I'll be providing a couple of those each and every week as well. Just a great wealth of information. Go and check it out today, scoresandodds.com slash beer. All right, let's get into it here for the week five plays. Week four, solid. Geno Smith, Austin Eckler, CeeDee Lamb coming up big for us. Let's keep the ball rolling here in week five. All right, let's start at wide receiver with Chris Olave of New Orleans. This guy continues to get targets, and that's the name of the game at wide receiver. 33 targets now over just the last three games alone, and it has not mattered. Jameis Winston, Andy Dalton, Winston, no practice Thursday as of this recording. Michael Thomas also not practicing, which I think will be good things for Chris Olave. Even if Jameis is out, Dalton clearly can get this guy the ball down the field, and that's how you attack the Seattle team. Only two teams out there have allowed more 15-plus air yard completions than Seattle, been very vulnerable to the deep ball. We saw it again last week against Detroit and Seattle, this defense. Just been horrific. 27 or more points allowed in each of the last three. 33 overall allowed per game here. I think the Saints in a good spot. Alvin Kamara expected back. I think Olave continues to smash here at the wide receiver position. All right, let's get you a tight end here. We're rolling with Dallas Goddard of Philadelphia. So Goddard, we've seen a lot of floor games, which you can bank on in your cash games. We're playing tournament. We've got to see a big eruption spot here out of Goddard. I think it could come right here against this Arizona team. They've allowed the most fantasy points to this position. Now, to be fair, they played some killers. They played some of the best tight ends in the league, but this is a team we can go back years and years that have historically struggled against this position. It looks like it's going to be the same thing here in 2022. Philadelphia, big team total here at 27, third highest on the slate, on this fast track. You can see the passing game get rolling here against the Cardinals. Dallas Goddard, my favorite tight end play of the week. All right, we probably spoiled it from the intro, but we're going to pair Goddard up with his quarterback, Jalen Hurts. So we got some options on the high end. We don't have a ton of options. We're missing a lot of good quarterbacks here, but Josh Allen at home, huge favorite against Pittsburgh. Tom Brady, big favorite against Atlanta. I think those guys are going to get a little bit more attention here than Jalen Hurts, but quarterback generally not a spot. I'm too worried about ownership. Never really gets out of hand here. Now let's take a look at the matchup. We know it's good here against Arizona. 29th overall DVOA defense so far this season, 28th against the pass here over the first month of the season. So a very vulnerable defense and secondary here this game. I think this is one of those games that could cruise by that total. Like we saw with Seattle, Detroit, you hit a home run on a game like that. You're winning millions of dollars. Congrats to my boy Hoop 2410, but a pace up spot here for both teams. Both teams love to play very, very fast here. If Arizona can put points on the board, this Philly offense has not really been tested where they have to put the pedal to the metal. Maybe it happens this week. Jalen Hurts, highest ceiling out there, maybe outside of Josh Allen. Love him this week against Arizona. All right, let's get to the running back position. We're going to roll with Damian Harris of New England. Now we could also insert Ramondre Stevenson here. I love both of these guys here. We're going to go with Harris because I'm expecting him to be probably lower on. He's the the boring one of the group. I get it. I'm a Ramondre guy as well. Again, we'll be playing both of these guys if you need the savings. No doubt, Ramondre an, an option, especially Vandaly get a $1,200 savings, but paying up a little bit more could help you in the ownership department as well. We know this matchup is outstanding. 32nd, dead last in the league against the run, according to DVOA, 
are the Detroit Lions, have already allowed eight rushing touchdowns, second most fantasy points allowed. And what is the name of the game with Damian Harris? It's touchdowns. And two, three scores would not surprise me here in this matchup. New England, a home favorite, checking that box for us. I think Damian Harris has a massive game here. But we're playing fan to a butt. Starting to catch the ball a little bit more as well. So not out of play on DraftKings. Both New England running backs in play. Damien Harris, one of my favorite running back plays on the week. All right, let's go back to the wide receiver position next. Let's spend some money on Tyreek Hill of Miami. Now targets galore here for Tyreek Hill. 12 or more targets now in three of the last four games. We saw Teddy Bridgewater come into the game last week. Target Tyreek Hill a ton. In fact, looked his way nine times, six receptions. 109 yards on that game. Now, Jalen Waddle back at practice as of Thursday. Like him as well. I like both of these guys. Even a sneaky stack here if you wanted to roll the dice on Teddy Bridgewater. Why? The Jets, horrible against the pass. 29th in DVOA. Six touchdowns already allowed to the wide receiver position. Let's not forget, the Jets were after Tyreek Hill. So a little extra pep in his step in this game, maybe a little narrative. But Tyreek Hill going to smash this New York Jets secondary here in week five. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play for week five. Before we do that, let's continue our Beast of the Week contest. Easy to play. All you got to do is get in the comment section right below the video and guess fantasy points for my Beast of the Week. The closest guest on DraftKings going to win themselves a free week of Roto-Grinders Premium. Chance to get in there and check everything out behind the scenes absolutely free. All right, let's wrap this baby up. My favorite play for week five. You know Mass, the Beast of the Week. All right, Beast time. We owe you one more running back. We're rolling with James Robinson of the Jaguars this week's Beast of the Week. Now, a lot of factors here that I like about James Robinson. First off, we always talk about it. Big home favorites, seven-point favorites at home this week against the Houston Texans. We got a lot of concerns here. A down game from James Robinson. They were playing from behind. We're worried about Travis Etienne and how he's going to work into the mix. He's certainly going to be a part of the game plan here. But Houston, the biggest thing that stands out here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Austin Eckler was massive for us here last week. And you look at the games where Jacksonville has won. This guy's averaging 22 and a half touches per game, filling that workhorse role. ETN comes in as more of the pass catcher, the guy from when they're playing from behind. So I think Houston's gonna win this game. Then you wanna roll some Travis ETN. I think Jacksonville takes care of business here at home and they have been horrific against running backs. Most rushing yards allowed, most fantasy points allowed, second most rushing touchdowns allowed. I think you get a big bounce back game out of James Robinson at minimal ownership here. Robinson, easily my favorite play on the board in this week's Beast of the Week. All right, guys, that'll do it here for week five in the Fantasy Bar. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, fantasy points for James Robinson on DraftKings for a chance at some free Roto-Grinders Premium. Head over to Twitter. Give me a follow over there at BeermakersFan and go check out scoresandodds.com slash beer, including the all-new Parlay IQ tool. Going to help you build some awesome same-game parlays, regular parlays. Go and check it out. That link in the description of the video. For rotogrinders.com, I am Beer saying salut, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck here in week five, and we'll see you. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.